morning, Year 4. It's me, Mrs Shaw, again. Uh, this is Lesson 3 of your reading skills for this week. And I would like you to do the short date and vipers with the R circled for retrieval. So we're going to get some facts out of the text today um, and see if we can write them down. Um, have a go at the question when you're done. Okay. So, uh, circle the prefix or suffix in each word. It doesn't tell you what's there, but we know that prefix goes at the start, suffix goes at the end. So just read the word. Try and find that root word, the word that exists on its own without something before it or after it, and you try and find the original word. So disagree. So we know that the word is agree, so our prefix is dis. Antibody. Um, body we know um, that's our noun there and we've got a prefix for that and then miss is our prefix here because we've got the word judge okay so it all means that it's the opposite you don't agree uh, you don't judge it and the antibody is something that um, oh, that's, this is a definition um, thing now in my head where you have to describe something and it's tricky to do. So an antibody is something that fights something that's not meant to be there. A body, a foreign body. I hope that's right. You can check it in the dictionary and let me know if you like. <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay. So, um, again, I'm going to read the page on here. The two questions are going to be somewhere on this page. And uh, you can find them and then we'll move on. And we've got, I think it was three separate pages today. And then we've got some answers on the page after. Okay, let's get going. So we met um, last time uh, Kitty's uncle and she explained that the it wasn't fair, the taxes weren't fair and he didn't like it either. Now this don't seem fair and proper to some folks, so they try to sneak in such cargo under the nose of the greedy excisemen without them being aware. This way the poorer folk get to enjoy their pleasures a little cheaper, see? What he means is, when you um, have to pay tax, you have to put the price up for the customer. So if they bring in something to sell, um, they would have to sell it for more money to help pay back the tax to the exchequer. And this is why such folk call themselves free traders, but the excisemen don't see it that way. They could think of them as common criminals and call them smugglers, but can diddle in it ain't. So we can have a look down here. Con diddling is stealing, and that is slang. Uncle Jonas speaks the truth. It's all very well for them stiff rumps with their high paid positions and fancy clothes. But what about us? Well, as for me, I'm proud to say, I'm a smuggler's daughter. By that, I mean my father is a smuggler. My mother was a lady. Some might have called her a blue stocking. So, a knowledgeable woman. A true and proper lady from a grand family in a grand home. And she taught me the reading and the writing, which few can do in Minnock, except Squire Trepin the priest, and a handful of officials with self-important titles strutting around like birds who've had their fill of seed. So if we go back to this one, um, you can pause this now, pause this on this page and you can do those two questions. What does Uncle Jonah speak? Um, so again, you don't really want what Uncle Jonah is saying here in the italics. Uh, you want what Kitty says. And question two, Kitty's father is a smuggler. What was her mother? So I would find the word mother is your clue so you can scan down and retrieve that information. You can pause now. Okay, we'll go back to those answers in a minute. Let's move on. So she, since she died, me and my sister Esme have been mothered by Eliza, my brother being grown. So his, his brother's a grown up. So he didn't need looking after just her and Esme. Some see Eliza simply as a cinder garbler. So we need to look at these as we go. Sometimes a female servant. But she's acted as everything from housekeeper to friend. But don't get me wrong. She's not all sweetness and light. I once saw her take a belt to her own boy, also a grown man now, and give him a right clapper claw clawing. Right. Pause uh, for this page then. 
What is Kitty's sister called? I've said it. I've also read it out. So have a scan down. See what her sister is called and jot that down for question three. Please. Kitty's sister is called... Okay, let's move on. Question four, the last question. You might want to look out for it while I read. So question four is, by night, what is Kitty's father called? My father's name is John without the H, as was his father's and his father's before him, all the way back to when Jonah was living in that whale. Also, my namesake, Uncle Jonah, would have it. And by day, that is all the others call him. No one ever calls my Uncle Jonah John, for short, but that would be far too confusing. By night, however, the villagers go by different names, and in all my short life, I have never heard them mix the two. My father's name by night is Captain, which shows just where he sits in the order of things. He's the one to give the orders, and none give them to he. He carries a pair of poppers, one on each hip, tucked inside his belt, all hid beneath that great long coat of his. So pop poppers are pistols, guns. My uncle Jonah is Patch, and our nearest neighbour, Robert Tregan, Goose. The reasons for these names are less clear to me, but the reason for giving them is obvious. We'll find out the next um, bit tomorrow. So, by night, what is Kitty's father called? Jot that down for question four. Okay, the answers. I'm going to go now if you're not ready. Let's have a look. Oh no, sorry. I forgot this page was here. It just had no question. Sorry, so we can go to this one. But for the reason the reason for giving them is obvious. Should a redcoat or exciseman hear them calling out to each other in the dark when they're about their less lawful pursuits, their identities will not be revealed. So when they're doing dodgy things like smuggling, they don't know. They're not calling out John, so they don't know to look for John. They don't know who Captain is. And by day, nobody ever calls him that, so they would never know. Great. So the answers. What does Uncle Jonah speak? The truth. Kitty's father is a smuggler. What was her mother? She was a lady. We will find out more about her later. And what is Kitty's sister called? Esme. And by night, what is Kitty's father called? He is captain. Okay. Um, tick or correct your answers. And then I'd like you to have a think about who the story is told by. And as a reader, um, if you know it's told by Kitty, think about what side of the story you're going to get. So, um, do you think that if it was told from the perspective of the exciseman, would you get different information? Would you get different opinions about what these people are doing? Would it be that the bad guys were the smugglers instead of now the bad guys, in Kitty's opinion, are the excisemen? So just consider that if, if the story was flipped and it was the diary of one of the the soldiers, how different they, those facts might be, or the kind of the interpretation, your opinion of those facts. Okay, um, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Take care, you four.